Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. By demand of one of our best clients, Mike Belcher, I'm happy to present today the Urverk UR105TA Clockwork Orange. This special edition is not for sale because it's already been purchased, but in the interests of better serving our clientele and showcasing our wares to the world, I'd like to do a quick rundown of this watch and its extraordinary features. Now, Urverk, of course, founded in 1997 by Martin Fry and Felix Baumgartner, celebrates its 20th anniversary in 2017, and the model that you see right here actually debuted in 2016, making it one of the company's absolute latest. You can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. It's a big watch, but it fits like a smaller watch. Now, 53 millimeters is the extremity to extremity width across the wrist. In terms of actual thickness, we defer to Urverk, who specifies a very precise 16.8 millimeters in thickness. And in terms of breadth across the case, what would conventionally be the length of my arm or three o'clock to nine o'clock, the watch is 39.5 millimeters wide. Now, what is the composition of the case? How does it feel? How does it wear? Well, what you're looking at is a DLC blackened stainless steel cap with the case back rendered in a PVD gray titanium with a matte finish. Now the way it wears is unique because you can see that lug to lug doesn't express the full width of the case, rather the distance between the pivots underneath. These underslung lugs and total articulation, it has no tendency to flare, I mean it wears well on a smaller wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters. You could probably wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 and a half. Now it's very light because of the titanium and even the steel is minimal and generously hollowed out to show the mechanism. So light on the wrist, the watch is mounted on a screw fixed strap, which I like to see. It's the premium way of fixing a strap. Urverk didn't settle for spring bars. On the underside, it's calfskin, very supple. On the top, it's a thickly bolstered textile. And you'll also note that it is a full width strap, straddling the width of the case. This is exactly the kind of strap you want to see on a big watch. Too many large watches are fitted with under spec straps. No such problem here fitted to a titanium blackened pin buckle for easy on the fly adjustability. Now the watch, quite frankly, looks as alien as it did when it debuted in 2010 as the UR105. In 2015 we gained the UR105 TA Turbine Automatic Series and you'll note on the case back these little turbines, I'll try to get them to move about in the light, are linked directly to the winding rotor of the caliber, the caliber being the Urverk caliber, manufacturer caliber, I should say, 5.02. A lot of what you're seeing here is, in fact, the movement of the watch. The wandering hours arrangement, pioneered in wristwatches by Audemars Piguet in the early 1990s, but really made famous by Urverk during the 2000s, features a number of orbital disks, satellites as Urverk calls them, sweeping past a zero to 60 minute scale. Now the best way to explain how this works is to pull the crown and demonstrate that now the watch is indicating exactly 2.30. Now as you move the hour along the scale, the succeeding hour enters on stage right and seamlessly hands off. You'll also note watch these discs over on this corner, that the discs all rotate in a series of synchronized pirouettes. It's like mechanical ballet, and that's Urverk's essential engineering and styling ethic. This mechanism defines almost all of the company's watches. Now inside, you do have an automatic winding rotor. As it debuted in 2010, the UR105 was not an automatic timepiece. Urverk didn't just convert the watch to automatic winding, but as you can see, also created something like a user-operated version of Richard Mill's variable inertia winding rotor. You can do anything from large polar moment to small polar, polar moment to no polar moment, effectively locking the movement. Now you'll see even though I'm moving the watch, those little turbines linked to the winding mass aren't moving at all, but when I opt for maximum winding, now you see how they move, indicating that the watch is energizing itself up to its full rated power reserve of 48 hours. Now only a hundred of these were made, and it is the Clockwork Orange limited edition, and for good reason. Quite frankly, this watch speaks to the Halloween sensibility in all of us. And yet, in spite of its outrageous coloration, this is a watch that's also designed to be seen in the dark, as the scales and the satellites themselves do bear Luminova paint, so the watch is legible in low and no light conditions. Now, the limited edition of 100 means these are exceedingly rare, and that has to be borne in mind of 
Erwerk's annual production of no more than 400 to 450 timepieces. This is a brand that has stayed remarkably exclusive and its high horology pedigree is second to none. Felix Baumgartner, the watchmaking and engineering mind behind the brand, one of the youngest admissions to the AHCI or the Academy of Independent Watchmakers, and his partner Martin Fry, the second pillar of Erwerk, the industrial designer who coined the Erwerk aesthetic. They have managed to keep their brand rare, special, their watch is unique. The appeal of these watches never dulls, and you're never imperiled by overproduction. This is a brand with integrity, mechanical, aesthetic, and philosophical. Congratulations, Mike. You bought a fantastic watch. Wear it in the best of health.